this going on in your workshop for a long time? What's been going on? You usually turn bikes around pretty rapid. Is it is it that much of a monster build, this one? You know, more than anything, it was just like, Mickey wasn't in a big hurry for this bike, so unless we have a deadline, we don't ever finish anything. It sat for a long time in parts and pieces when we got everything together, but he was very um, involved in the build and very intimate about what he wanted and didn't want. And a lot of it had to do with a lot of the crazy finishes. He really wanted to do the black and gold on kind of everything and be black, gold, polish kind of all together, which was why we did a lot of the step finishes. So, you know, it's just a matter of getting a lot of different finishes done. Nah, it's worth every penny, whatever it costs. I, you know, we, uh, I was getting ready to do a motorcycle movie and we were building it for that. I'm still hoping to make the movie one day. That's why I wanted to use this bike in the film. Uh, and then it's got my dog's name. I had a dog, uh, a Chihuahua, Loki, for 18 and a half years. So we put Loki's name all over it for birthday and the other. Yeah, so I'm very, very happy with it. And what was nice about meeting up with Roland was uh, he he's a good listener. And uh, if I came up with some ideas, he, would, he wouldn't say no. And he accepted most of the ideas. And then he added his own twist to it. And I was very concerned with uh, the shape of the tank, which I got to tell you, I'm really, you know, I haven't seen it like this. This, I think, whatever you know whatever creative juices you tapped into you did a you did a great fucking job that's what it once was can you believe it this motorcycle once looked like that just a plain old bagger cruiser and now it's unique wonderful oh i can't wait to ride it let's go and do just that